Hey Team Carolina families, Billy Ward here. Listen, I hope everyone's enjoyed a couple weeks off and we're so excited to kick back training this upcoming week and we thought it'd be a great idea just to start this whole thing off with a little overview of, of what we're trying to accomplish objectively this upcoming season with our Team Carolina guys. And so if I could put a theme on the training here uh, through the next couple months, it would all be about developing the individual player, developing the skills of our offensive and defensive Team Carolina players because we know if we can develop the skill sets of our guys, it's gonna make our offensive and defensive schemes and sets even that much more effective as we head into more team-based play this spring in summer. So if there's three main areas we're looking to improve on, I would say the first one is all about pace and tempo. You know, as we reflected on, on the fall, we felt like we could get crisper in our transition play, crisper in making off-ball cuts, crisper in our dodging, faster and a higher tempo in, in how we're trying to beat people. We felt like we could be better at getting to, as defensive players, getting to offensive players and breaking down and directing them accordingly. So all of our language will be centered around, hey, how do we play this game in a controlled but more upbeat, faster tempo with the things that we're trying to do. And the second area we're really trying to build on is, is what we call play with the ball. So offensively, that's with the ball in your stick. How are we beating people? How are we getting past people and creating advantages for our offensive group? Defensively, that's all about defending players with the ball. How are we breaking down, directing, in contact, and, and positionally so we're able to defend players? And the third and final thing we're really trying to build on is this idea of moving without the ball playing without the ball. Offensively, how are we getting out of each other's way? How are we making hard cuts so we're creating space for ourselves and for others? Defensively, right, that's all about communication. How are we ready to go from a slide standpoint? And all the things that we know are important schematically for a defensive group. And so to accomplish those three things, we've developed this idea of what we call our fit principle. And it's really simple. There's three ways we're gonna develop those, those three areas. And the first is what we call free play. That doesn't mean just rolling the ball out and letting guys do their thing. No, that means putting guys in the right situation from a one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three, because the game can be broken down into just that and winning those battles. How do we get really, really good in one-on-one -on -one scenarios, picking, moving without the ball, helping each other out, two-on-two -two scenarios? And then from there, it's the, the eye piece of fit is instruction. How do we provide the best possible instruction? Our, our goal here is to make the training process at Team Carolina unlike anyone or anything that you can get anywhere else, right? It's to make training the best part of our week, the hardest part of our week, so when our guys eventually get back into games, that they're prepared to play at the highest level. And that comes down to our, our staff being able to instruct and upkeep the tempo piece that I mentioned earlier. And the T of our fit principle is all about touches. We know touches wins the game. It's exactly why we're integrating box lacrosse into the week for all of our teams. So, you know, there's two things that all of our teams are going to go through. They're going to go through training at Elon and more of our field-based activities like we did in the fall. But they're also going to go through box training. The quick rundown on box training is this. There is nothing that matches the pace, the touches, the repetition, the one-on-ones and two-on-twos that a player is going to get in the confined space of box lacrosse. The best part about Team Carolina right now is we also have a staff that can actually teach the game the right way. Guys like Coach Johnson and others who have played it at its highest level and are gonna have the ability to instruct your sons appropriately so they're actually learning the game of lacrosse and not just playing the game in a small space. You know, from there, we're also gonna planning on integrating speed and agility to all of our work at Elon. You know, we believe in developing athletes, not just lacrosse players, but developing our boys athletically. So myself, Performance Unlimited, our whole crew will be the leading the speed agility side of things as, as we practice at Elon as well. You know, we're really excited about what this winter can bring. And I know from a training standpoint, our goal is to continue to elevate the experience that these boys have. You know, people ask all the time, well, are you gonna integrate age groups? Or are we gonna stay specific? We believe in actually having in different age groups train together, making sure everyone stays safe, making sure that the practice still remains effective, but there's benefits from being the youngest guy and from being the oldest guy in different scenarios. All of our players are gonna work with our coaches, get to know our coaches, understand our coaches. Yes, they're gonna be spending time with their team-based coach, but they're also gonna be spending time with myself, Coach Reyes, and the likes of all of us that are integrating in different, different parts of the field and, and working with different teams. We believe that's important. Each of us brings a different area of expertise and personality uh, through our lacrosse experience. You know, we're so excited about what this winter can bring. We're so excited to see the progress our boys are gonna make over the next couple months. Spring, summer is obviously gonna look different. We gotta be prepared to play in the tournaments. We gotta to prepare ourselves from a true overall team standpoint. But this little break here right now provides us the opportunity to focus on building the skills. The skills that we know are gonna carry over as we approach this summer. So we're so excited to get started. We appreciate all of you and all the support you guys have always brought. 
And if there's anything you want to talk about philosophy-wise, curriculum-wise, or things that we're doing, please don't hesitate to reach out. And we look forward to seeing you guys at training here soon.